sponsored by EA. With October 31st not too far off, I want to remind you that I have an EA creator code. If you're planning to pre-order Dragon Age The Veilguard or pick up any previous Dragon Age games through the EA app, remember to apply my code UrbanBohemian at checkout. I get a small commission from the purchase, which helps support the channel. All right, for real, the game. I finally did the thing right. I finally did it right. Yay. Okay. So, again, Worlds of Aria. If you'd like information on Worlds of Aria, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, do exclamation point info in chat. If you are watching on YouTube, ex exclamation point game info. And, uh, yeah, let's hop on in. Um, I will say, if you are watching on YouTube, you will not be able to join in the Twitch chat unless you come over and watch me on Twitch. Which is... I'd, I'd appreciate that, I guess. Um... So let's see here. Standard, uh, we have cinematic subtitles, which we like. Um, for multiplayer, you can hide the game code, which is fabulous. Okay, so timed phase duration. Ooh, wait, there's there's dice skins? Oh, we have to, okay. Interesting, okay. And CPUs make their own decisions, but feel free to decide otherwise, nice. Um, graphics, I'm on high resolution, borderless, on my lovely TV across the room. Audio, everything looks pretty good, actually. Let me check, um, let me check levels against me. I think it's good. If it's too loud, sorry. If it's not loud enough, let me know and I'll turn it up. And then there's Twitch. Um, so, enable Twitch integration. Oops, there we go. Um, and let me make sure that I've spelled it right. Okay. Okay. Um, check that everything is working. So, can chat type exclamation point A in chat? This is where I love to see the actual delay. Of something what i want to write is a command that actually pings chat to say like what is the response time of things but let's see but i can also type it in myself hopefully my stream is still going it is okay all right a has been typed and it works uh can i also get exclamation point b since that's obviously the next thing to check. I gotta say, I really love that games are now... Somebody got onto games and said, you know what? Here's how to embed a silent Twitch bot in your channel. Like, in your game. Um, okay, so now I do see so there's going to be a little delay, so we may have to... We'll see about turning that up. Um, game. Are we good? Interesting. Oh, okay. No, it is working. All right. So apparently this is going to be how you vote. Um, chat will be given... Well, there will be given choices for the chat-controlled character, and you'll vote in chat via A or B. And if necessary, I get to override your vote, because of course I do. So, let's see here. All right. Okay. Um, and you can see behind me, it talks about the buddy pass. So if you, you essentially can tell your friends, hey, I'm playing this cool game, I want you to play with me, I'm just gonna send you a link to download the free buddy pass client you don't have to own the game and you should be good to go so um all right so let's let's actually take a peek can we take a peek at the buddy pass right now okay yeah um your friends can join you for free anytime by using the buddy pass available for everyone on steam you start a new game and then you invite them to join in with your game code so it's pretty cool but right now we're gonna start a new game
Okay, so you can play offline, which you can switch to online anytime. Um, I assume offline is locally and with Twitch engaged, so we're going to try that. Um, you can also play online multiplayer, so that gives you like a room code for the game. Um, I really like the style already. You've got like the, the game board, you've got dice, you've got a map and little tokens on the board. Okay. Um, okay, and we select an act. The act selection up is... A bad start to a great adventure. A plot endangers the Queen of Aria, and only you can stop it. Well, shall we? So character selection. Uh, click on a character portrait and grab it and place it here. So... Kahina, Pirate of the Seven Seas. Ah, okay. Kunja, warrior and deserter. Oh, she's a warrior and deserter. Interesting. Daryl, future master magician. Future master magician. Gorman D's, royal pastry chef. The royal pastry chef. Hello. Good fortune, elite assassin. Your name is literally Good Fortune. Grubs, hermit, and druid. Ooh, druid. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Raul DM Ali. Bored and lover of life. Okay, so I'm gonna. Archibald Knockfeller, entrepreneur with a heart of gold. Yeah, I'm gonna give Gourmandise to chat. Gourmandise, royal pastry chef. Okay, so. Oops. Ah, no, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, Gourmandise. Court intrigue ruined your career as the royal pastry chef. Um, okay, your ability is to draw a recipe card. Draw a random recipe card that will improve or worsen your dice roll. Okay, I got it. Um, all right, I think for us though, Kunja, warrior and deserter. I want to play somebody with magic. Kahina. Of the seven seas. So let's play or I should play a bard. No, we'll play we'll play Tarot, we'll play Tarot. Future Master Magician. Tarot. After ten years in the business, you're still the worst magician in the country. That doesn't stop you from staying optimistic. Okay. Our ability is to draw a magic card, permanently lose one or multiple cards from your deck, and apply their effects on your dice roll. Yowza. Um and uh, we pick people for the CPU, so let's... If I pick somebody here... Oh, I can... Klemovich, ah, King of okay, I see. I can, I can apply chat to any of the characters. In that case, then we'll take a bard. And... We'll take who looks like a pirate? Kahina, yeah. Pirate of the seven seas. We love a pirate. Okay. Group name, the Pirates of Esperanza. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Go. Okay, chances of success are displayed above each choice. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes. Hello there, brave adventurers. You're about to start your adventure in the worlds of Aria. How lucky I am to tell the tales of such a promising group. A clumsy and eccentric magician. The classiest pirate that ever set sail. A cheerful pastry chef. And last but not least... Raoul, bard among bards, the biggest star in all of Aria. Perfect, you're all here. Get ready for a journey full of twists and turns. Ooh, you'll visit exotic locales. Set sail on mighty ships. And maybe even find a treasure or two. But first things first. 
Our tale starts in a forest, around a campfire. Go on, everyone. Take a seat. Onwards. Okay, so chat, we see on screen, you are able to select where Gormandees will sit. I'm the chef. My magic is always with Eat me. your heart out. Let's see here. I think we okay. We'll wait for it to see. We'll wait to see it when it when it actually grabs the thing. The horizon is calling me. Hmm. Oh no! Sorry, my bad. Um, it looks like it did process your. It processed <laughs> you saying D. So I'm gonna move you here. I'm the chef. It looks like Chad is able to vote. So that is apparently how it's working. Um, between the A, B, C, and D. So I'll put you at D because we had somebody vote for D. I'm hoping it's... Okay. Ah. Confirming choices. Alright. A twist of fate has brought you all together today. Tell me, why do you want to set out on a grand adventure? Let's go! Okay, so... For, uh, for your character, exclamation point A is to find riches and glory. Exclamation point B is to help Chef's others. Choice. And exclamation point C is to cause mayhem. Um, welcome back, Chris. Take care, base. I uh, Hopefully we'll talk to you very soon. Bon appétit. Oh, wow. Chat really quickly said to cause mayhem, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to say to help others. The pirate is to find riches and glory. And the bard is obviously to find riches and glory. Wow, y'all were quick on that. <laughs> Take care, base, and see you soon. Um, all right. A cause as selfish as they come. I love morally ambiguous characters. I wish to protect the weak and defenseless. Brave heroes in armor. They often die first, you know. And Gormandi is up here. To cause mayhem. Ah, shaking things up, I see. And don't forget, all adventures are a series of choices. Every one of your choices count, whether you make the same ones as your teammates or not. Work together in harmony, or act in a more chaotic fashion. The decision is yours. Hmm. Are you hearing what I'm... Do you hear what I hear? No, I... What do you... Watch out, you're under attack. The horrific training dummy has arrived! <gasps> to get rid of it, you'll have to roll the dice. There's no other way. Indeed, some of your choices can lead to skill checks. Roll a result less than your stat, and it's in the bag. Okay, so... We roll to we roll below our stats in this as opposed to aha okay. Go ahead, attack it and find out for yourself. Onwards. Okay, so chat, you can attack the dummy with exclamation point A. Your goose is cooked. Hey Celestia, welcome on in. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab myself over here. Get ready to taste um, my power. Oh, come here. All aboard. Okay, so everybody, so it looks like Taro, Gormandiz, and Raoul have a 25% chance for success, whereas Kahina has a 35% chance for success. Make love, not war. We run a tight ship. Ready? All you have to do is grab your dice and throw them. Okay, dice rolls. Roll a lower number to get a success. 
the higher your oh no the higher your skill value it the easier it is to succeed hey steve welcome on in Okay, critical result. The critical regions are at both ends of the gauge. A critical result amplifies the effects of your roll for better or worse. So the point of this is to get your skill as high as possible so that you always roll below it, which most of us are used to beating a score, not trying to get under a score. So interesting. Um, all right. Yeah, that didn't that didn't work out. Messed up the words. Let's go. Fade to black. This is this is not going well. Um especially with D1 with like, you know. Are you kidding me? me okay, I don't think chat can roll your own dice, so I'll roll for chat. Okay, wow, we all sucked. Okay. The training dummy... The training dummy hit us all. I do like the bard singing Everybody Hurts. That's great. Uh, so our, our, our guide says, Failure! Uh, I thought your group would be a bit more talented. I didn't know we were doing a low dice roll system. Okay, then, I'll give you a piece of advice. Feel free to use your powers to increase your odds of rolling a success. What? Your character's in a role-playing game. Of course you have powers. Okay. So, character sheets. Um, click on the notepad, like the note icon, or press Y with your cursor placed above to open their character sheet. So, let's look at Tarot. Okay, so Tara's power. Oh, also looking at all of our stats. Oh, they're all pretty high. Okay, um, how do I... Oops, okay, don't forget to use your power. You'll find them under your character icons. Okay. So Taro can draw a magic card and permanently you permanently lose one or multiple cards from your deck and apply their effects on your dice roll. Raul can rally your fans. Sacrifice fans to improve your dice roll by 15 each or let your number of fans recharge. Gormandiz just draws a random recipe card that'll worsen or improve your dice roll. And Kahina can buy pirate cards, spending gold to recruit crew members who change the outcome of your dice roll. Okay, well, let's try drawing a magic card first. Magical powers. Okay, so that's going to add a minus two modifier to my roll. Um, we are the world. Okay, that's going to be minus 15. Oh, I could keep going. Interesting. Um, all right, we'll let Kahina buy. Okay, a landlubber does nothing? Interesting. And let's see what Gormandiz does. What are we making? Divine Tartar. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Um, I still feel like we should probably reduce them even more. Like, but I, I feel bad sacrificing fans, but I will sacrifice some cards. Magical powers. The heart ah, powers. there we go. Okay. So. Oh, come on. What? I, must have I legitimately rolled a 100. Are you kidding me? All right. Again with the one hundred. What? Made to black. This is rather fishy. 
This sucks. Onwards. Well, chat did something right. <gasps> Succulent. Success. That sure made a difference, am I right? Now that you know how to use your dice and your powers, you're unstoppable. You can check out your skills at any time by looking at your character sheet. Okay, so... Uh, Gormandies... Ooh, Gormandies is very good at lying and crafting. And no inventory yet. Uh, Kahina, I'm pretty sure, is probably very good at, at law. Oh, no. You're good at strength and combat. And Raul, what are you good at? You're a bard. Surely you've got... Yeah, you're a bard. You're good at lying and persuading. Um, you're good at dexterity checks. And you're good at strength checks. And Taro, are you good at anything? Knowledge, crafting, and persuasion. Persu persuasion. I know how to talk. Um, no, come here. Okay. Oh, you're in no shape to start your adventure just yet. Here, eat these apples. They'll park you right up. Oh, thank goodness. Whatever you do, make sure to keep an eye on your health points. Okay, so, consume. Super tasty. Consume. Yum. Consume. Thanks, mighty. Consume. Give me, give me, give me. Whatever you do, okay. If they get to zero, your character will die. Some items can also improve your skills. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Put these items in your inventory to equip them. Okay, a witch's ladle is plus, plus 10 crafting, plus 5 dexterity. A slingshot, plus dexterity, plus perception, plus combat. A demonic shield gives you max HP and, a, and additional to your lie, persuade, and perception. And a spyglass adds to your perception. I'm going to give the demonic shield to Kahina. That glitters is not gold. I'm going to give the spyglass to Raul. I'll give the slingshot to Taro. How splendid! Oh, whoops. Can I not use that? Hold on a second. Oh, nope. Okay, it said put away, so I was a little confused. And the ladle obviously goes to Gourmandis. What do we have here? Okay. You'll also have the opportunity to use or give your items to other characters. Let's give it a try. Give me those items back. I don't wanna. Let's go. All right, fine. I don't. I don't wanna. May this be useful. <gasps> this slingshot is a bit too powerful to start an adventure. Oh, you're you're like no, you can't have those things. That's rude. You gave me all those nice things. A pinch of that. Why would you tease me like that? How about an autograph? So rude. My latest plunder. I thought we were getting treasure. Okay. That's it, I have nothing more to teach you. It's time to start your grand adventure. Will you save the world or destroy it? I mean, I kind of destroyed the world in the past few games I played, so, you know. I can't wait to sing ballads of your escapades in all the taverns across Aria. And now, let me tell you how your adventure begins. The kingdom of Arya thrives in peace and prosperity, ruled wisely by Queen Julia. Situated at the crossroads of multiple civilizations, the city abounds with opportunity. Greedy merchants share their daily lives with eccentric scholars and powerful magicians. 
You are among those adventurers drawn by the hope of a bit of gold and glory, ready to seize whatever fortune offers. And today, that comes in the form of a mysterious nobleman by the name of Grand Duke. The mission he entrusts you with involves accompanying him into a dangerous tomb. Uh -oh. However, when you accepted this quest, you were completely unaware that you would be at the heart of a terrible tragedy, and that your choices would forever change the history of the worlds of Aria. Sounds fine. I will be fine. We will be just fine. Okay, so chaos in the tomb. Oops, hold on. Am I in the right window? Make sure I am. Uh, so, two stars to make it out of the tomb in one piece. One star, convince Grand Duke to take the wrong scepter. One star, take the scepter with you. And there are secret challenges. Um, and yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, it's been a work day, which has not been great. But, you know, we're here playing a game and having fun. And then I'm going to make good yummy stuff for dinner. It's not Taco Tuesday. It's actually Burger Tuesday, which isn't a thing, but maybe it should be. <gasps> we finally made it to the ancient tomb of the kings of Aria. Hey, welcome in, raiders. Hello. Um, are you sure we're allowed to be here? Who cares? Everyone who knew about this place is long dead. Halt. Okay, I don't like that the skeleton just got up as soon as we came in here. Okay. Okay, well, I don't like that. <clears throat> halt! I've decided this is the skeleton voice. Get rid of that former. We've, we've got a scepter to find. Let's go. Okay, so chat, you are controlling Gourmandise. Gourmandise is the former royal pastry chef. You can control what Gourmandise does by All hands on deck. Um, by choosing exclamation point A, B, or C. It is kind of vote based, so it's like a poll, and you'll be able to see it above me. Um, there are options are to attack the skeleton, negotiate with the skeleton, or sneak around. What is interesting is um, it doesn't tell me what the um, what the challenge is based on. Oh, we have a lot of people who want to negotiate with the skeleton, so all right, I will go along with that. I don't think it matters. No, I think caps are fine. Uh, hex on you! Now it, there is dice rolling and skills involved. So what I've noticed is this is a roll under system. So for instance, if your skill in negotiation is twenty five. You're going to be given um, a D100 to roll, and you need to roll under it. So you, over time, will want to get your skill as high as possible. Um, we also have a bard, so the bard should probably negotiate with the skeleton. We are the world. We have a pirate. Should the pirate attack or sneak around? You know what? You know. You know what? We're all here together. Where's We're all going to negotiate with the skeleton. We're all going to negotiate. all our eggs in one basket hey what are you all doing here hey there pal it must be pretty boring waiting around here all alone huh hmm I've definitely been here for quite some time now but that doesn't matter the next shift will come along to replace me eventually in the meantime if you'd like to go in I'll need to see your authorization from Queen Julia That's just it. We're the next shift. Really? I get to go home? You've certainly earned it, haven't you? You're right. Give me your paper signed by the Queen and I'll finally get to go home. A uh, thing about that is... Um... Look, it's late and everyone's tired. Is it okay if we just bring them with us next time? That's a bit unorthodox, but I suppose if you give them to me later. Wonderful. Don't forget to stop by the tavern, too. We already ordered a round for you. Okay, now we are... We have gone from, like, negotiation to straight-up lying. 
Wow, aren't you all just class acts? To thank you, a word of advice. Avoid waking up Arya's former monarchs. Well, we are in a tomb, so I would want to avoid waking up any dead people. Yes, but thank you. And the Grand Duke was like, alright, I'm out. So, good choice, chat, to negotiate, uh, to talk to the skeleton. Uh, what are these? This isn't the burial room. We can't waste time here. Click. This dirt ball's gonna get us killed in the first room. Okay. All right. <laughs> just click. What was that click just now? Um. Okay, these do appear to be snakes. I don't know if the snake icon has a second form, but if anybody doesn't want to look at snakes, I would suggest you... Pick another tab, because these look like snakes. So yeah, if you're not a fan of snakes, you might not want to watch this. They are like cartoonish animated snakes, but I don't think, you know, just in case. The cage is opened. Yep, they're snakes. Good luck with the snakes. You butt face. We should follow him. Do you think we could figure out how to get to that treasure chest? <gasps> oh. Onwards. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have choices here. And chat, you are controlling Meringue. You are able to decide this things. Will be a we can exclamation point A to open the chest. Exclamation point B, run across the room. This is a very easy challenge, so the difficulty is very low. Any spices left? Or deactivate the trap, which is a medium challenge. Okay. Y'all want to deactivate the trap, huh? Well, then what I will do is I will stay behind with you to deactivate the trap. But what I will also do is I will let the easy runners. We'll need our sea legs. Run across the room. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a second. My bad. Hold on. Only one person can run across the room. Sorry, only one person can deactivate the trap. So meringue. Sorry. Gourmandise. Why was I saying meringue? Because of the sleepy green meringues. Um, okay, so this is an interesting thing. One person can deactivate the trap. One person can open the chest. And t and all four of us could run across the room. So let's give it a shot. I believe I can fly. Okay, now we get to the dice rolling part. Oh, wait, does that mean... Oh, okay, so... Run across the room. A very easy strength check for strength and endurance. So... 65%, I have to roll under a 65, and I have to roll under a 70. I've been rolling really high, I'm not sure why, but let's roll some dice and figure it out. Okay, 16. You're out, and you gained another fan. All right. Forty-five success. Okay, so they're out of here. Success. Let's not do our. Let's do our best not to get bitten. They made it. That was a close one. Oh, they, oh, they left. So, how does this thing work? Okay, so this is an easy check for crafting. The question is, do we... You know what? Oh, 
Gourmandise has a bonus to crafting, so this should be an easy check. All we gotta do is roll under 55. Are you kidding me? Too salty. Ugh. The mechanism is stuck. I can't bring the cages down. Oh, problem. Come on, move. This is a problem. Watch out. Behind you. You got company. Ouch, that hurts. We got bit by snacks. Status. Uh, wait. Status obtained. Poisoned. So, you are suffering a penalty to your knowledge and your combat rolls. Hurry, we gotta get out of here. Okay, well, that didn't go our way, chat. That that was that was not great. Uh, finally, the burial room. Ah, there you are. Everything okay? Arr, I, I'd rather not talk about it. Took you long enough. Search the room and bring me the scepter of wisdom. I gotta do the clenched teeth so I can get the full Thurston Howell experience. Sorry, Thurston Howell the third, I think. And what does this scepter look like? I've never seen it before, but I know it exudes magical power. Onward! Okay, so there is an option to give the scepter to the Duke. Oh. There's stuff around the room. <laughs> oh no. Okay. All right. Hold on. There's okay. So there's stuff around the room. There is the actual scepter of wisdom. There is the cursed scepter. There's the scepter of war. And there's the scepter of lies. Okay, I'm going to give the Scepter of Lies to our pirate friend. Oh, no, my bad. I want to give the Scepter of War to my pirate friend. So let me actually do this. Give the Scepter of War to our pirate friend. We are not licking the Cursed Scepter. Nope. We'll give the, is not gold. the scepter of knowledge to Taro. How splendid! And we will give the curse. Is that all? Yeah, we're gonna give the do. Oh, hold on. There's a scepter of courage. Oh, let's give that to you. And we'll what give the we Duke here? the cursed scepter. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're not licking it. Although you do gotta lick it before you stick it. You gotta get it nice and wet so we can kick it. Da 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 da. May this item be a talisman. Are you sure this is the right one? Uh, yeah. That's totally the you, scepter of wisdom. It's what you it's what you asked for. It's totally, it's totally a scepter of wisdom. Let's go. It's what, you, it's what you asked for, buddy. Scepter of Wisdom. There's only one scepter I saw here. It's just, it's like just one scepter. Candy from a baby. I didn't, I didn't see any other, bananas. didn't see any other scepters in the room. So, ooh, we can also kick a torch. Let's, uh, let's give that to you. Oh, that glitters is not gold. Can we take the other torch? We can. not Okay, so yeah. Uh, yep, it's the bright scepter. Uh, you got the right one, baby. Hey. Hang the jib. Confirming choices. Yep, it's the right scepter. It, I, I promise, dude, it's the right scepter. Totally. Totally the right scepter. At last, the scepter of wisdom, with its power, I'll soon be king of Aria. King of Aria? Times four. Wait, Aria already has a monarch, Queen Julia. And as we know, you know, she's everywhere. She's so Julia. Not for long. 
Whoever unites the three divine relics gains the power to rule all of Aria. And thanks to you, I've already got the first one. Do you, though? Do you? Oh, of course, because we totally gave you the right scepter. We won't let you usurp Arya's throne. Alas, I was afraid you might say that. Oh, what the? Legates, let's add a few more cadavers to this tomb. Excuse me? What? Okay, we got Kogan, Kringer, and Nazvrok. As for me, I still have a crown and orb to find. Bye now. Okay, you ass. Traitor, liar, criminal, cad, carpetbagger. Hey, Fawn, welcome on in. Anyone have any idea what to do now? Um, okay, we had one warning. Don't wake up the oh no we had one warning don't wake up the former rulers and the cursed king says will you stop that racket can't do much resting in peace here Onwards. okay so we have some options here we can open the tombs from a baby. We can hide, we can face the legates, which is easy, or we can throw skulls at the legates, which is very easy. So we could open tomb A, B, and C. We can hide in tomb D, this is the or we can throw skulls at the legates. We can also like fight them, but throwing skulls actually sounds a lot more fun. Um. All right, one person has voted to throw skulls. I I think I'll join in on that. Oh, whoops, hold, yeah, okay. Everyone's everyone's like, throw skulls, throw skulls, yeah. The magic is in the details. We're not gonna throw hands, we're gonna throw skulls. I got you, I got you. I'm gonna mess this one up. I vote skull throwage, it is fall after, wait, how, wait, what? Have I been missing a fall, like, pastime to throw skulls? Right on target. We're putting all our eggs in one basket. Leave us alone. Okay, this is a very easy check for dexterity. So, again, it is a roll-under system, so... Uh, Gourmandise will need to roll 70 or less, 55 or less for Tarot, 65 or less for Arul, and 55 or less for Kahina. We do have powers. Um, first off, each of them have a bonus to Dexterity. Um, so let's roll for Gourmandise because she has the highest, she has the, the highest number to beat I gotta think how do you how do you talk about low roll systems so she has like the easiest roll like she has the most numbers available so she but you don't beat a 70 you come in under 70 so what terminology when you play TTRPGs that do a low roll system what terminology do you say do you still say like I've got to beat a 70 because you're not technically beating it you are succeeding but anyway I don't know just a food for thought. Okay. That is a critical success, so take that. Um for tarot, I'm gonna draw some cards to bring the chances. The heart of the cards. Okay. So now whatever we roll, we'll get twenty-eight removed from it so
You've got to be kidding me with this. Okay, so Terra didn't Terra didn't succeed. Um, with Raul. Okay, so we either we either sacrifice a fan to remove the fifth to basically drop our improve our dice roll by fifteen. I'm gonna go ahead and try it because it's a sixty-five percent. Okay, that's a critical failure. So we got a critical success and a critical failure all in the same turn. Kahina. Let's buy a crew member. Let's buy a pirate card. The landlubber does absolutely nothing. So thanks for that. I suck at this. Um, welcome on in Raiders. Hey DC, thank you very much for coming on in. Um, that was a failure. Stop hit stop moving so we can hit you. I wish it were that easy. Everybody hurts and somehow he, we hurt so badly you got hurt. Oh, okay. Thankfully something happened. Critical success critical success and a skull to the face. We also got a knife. Giving the knife to I'm giving the knife to Gourmandise. Because. What do we have here? She's a chef, so she can use a knife. We have to keep fighting! You're strong, but you won't get out of here alive. Thanks, Jelmer. What the. They barricaded the door. We'll die of hunger here. Okay, we'll take another torch and give it to you. What the heck? If the ghosts don't kill us first. <gasps> yeah, we woke up the former rulers. Go through my tomb. It will lead you straight to the armory. Oh, the rulers are on our side. Sweet. The guards should all be dead by now. That's a... That's... should. Oh, or go through mine and you will find the room of a thousand treasures. Let's go! Okay, so the warrior queen is saying... The warrior queen says the armory. The king says the room of a thousand treasures. But I think the Cursed King is not trustworthy. I think I'd rather go to A. Just saying. Oh, we're halfway there. Hocus pocus. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Changed yeah. my mind. Yeah. What a magic moment. Let's go to the armory together. There might be some equipment left in the armory. See you at the exit. Yoink. Are they gone? Ugh, finally some peace and quiet. I know, the dead just want to rest. Don't we all? Look, the weapons are on the ground. They must have killed each other. Do you think they could be useful? What if they're cursed? You'll never get out of this place. Attack! Jail, Bertrada, Garion, and Zenobia. Okay, look, we didn't we didn't need all of Oh no, we should have taken their swords. Um I didn't know that was an option. But I realized I totally could have taken their swords. That's on me. Onwards. Okay, these are easy fights and they're one on one. So chat, choose your skelly. You'll get your just desserts. And while you choose your skelly. 
I'm going to take a quick break so I can also get some stuff ready for dinner. Um, I'm also going to make sure... Oh, let me take... Hold on. Let me take you off of this. That's interesting. Okay, so I can see you voting. But it's not taking. Okay, so I'm going to put you there because that's where yes, you said you wanted to go. Oh, I get it. I think I know what happened. If I wait too long, it will automatically decide what your CPU, like what you do as a CPU. So I will make sure that I am doing what you want done. Otherwise, I can override it by putting you anywhere. So we're going to put you, we're going to put the, the two... The, the, the two non-fighty people next to each other. Man this is not going to be an easy roll for um, Taro or Gormandis. But we'll wait. Okay. We'll wait to come back for these combat checks. I wanted to snack. I wanted to snatch this game up as soon as I saw the trailer. Um, it's really... I like, I like the style. I like the feel. Um, I can see how playing this with other people would be a lot of fun, and I kind of want to conspire to see if I can get some people who want to play it on stream, um, or at least, like, if I can get two people who want to play it on stream and then let chat control one player, like, that would be kind of fun. Uh, but now I understand when chat votes on something, I can see the results of your vote but I still have to move you to where you decide to be so you're not automatically moved by the game. So now I understand. Um, all right. These are supposedly easy checks. And Raul has a 41% has a 41% chance. I'm going to rally a fan oh, there. to remove 15 from the roll. Come here. Unbelievable. Failure is the road to success. My rolls are too high, y'all. I I almost never say this. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it then. No help, because I cannot roll low to save my life today. I must have messed up the words. Well, at least somebody can hit. Oh, come on. Salty. For the living dead, they've sure got some fight in their bones. Ouch, that hurts. Ow. Everybody hurts sometimes. Revenge. Okay, so at least we don't have to continue combat until we take them all on. It's really just a one and done check. Oh, I knew it. Oh, good thing I checked. You fools almost let them escape. No, I won't let you touch my friends. Yes, come through, Colomar. Since you all want the scepter so badly, how about I show you its power? What? What's happening to me? No! Did, what did you give me? Oh, what did it... Wait, did it turn him into... <laughs> Grand Duke! Are those knives sticking out of their pockets? Or are they just happy to see us? They're not paying attention to us anymore. Let's get out of this awful tomb while we can. Okay, so quickly, we have 25 seconds to pick their pockets, leave, or do nothing. Chef's choice. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just leave. Let's pull out all the stops. If I see another vote. Let's 
get as far away as possible before they notice we're gone. Ooh, the Duke got cursed. Blasted Scepter. I must reunite the Scepter of Wisdom, the Orb, and the Crown. Tonight, with their power, by your powers combined, I'll be King of Aria. Yeah, I'm not clapping for you. How about the adventurers? What should we do about them? Trust me, we'll see them again soon enough. Finish chapter. Okay. So I... I can't give it to the... No, alright. I don't want the cursed scepter. So that's interesting. Um, in the previous room, if I had acted quickly enough, I could have taken their swords, which would have been smarter. <gasps> hey, Evan, welcome on in. Okay, so we finished that chapter. How did we do? We made out of the tomb in one piece. We convinced the Grand Duke to take the wrong scepter. Oh. Oh. We got all the secret, we got all the secret achievements. So we made it out of the tomb in one piece. Uh, we convinced the Grand Duke to take the wrong scepter. We took the scepter of wisdom with us. We made friends with the skeleton, which is the most important part. And we resisted the temptation of the thousand treasures because it was probably cursed. So we could go back and redo it if we wanted to, but we'll just go next. Sweet. Okay. I don't know what that ticking is. You earn stars based on your actions during each chapter. These stars can be exchanged for skill improvements. When playing with CPU characters, you choose how they spend their stars. Oh, chat, you can choose how to upgrade. I wish I could reset that timer. Um, you can choose how to upgrade Gourmandise uh, if you have time to put something in. If not, I'll do it. That's totally fine. Oh, you can continue to choose. Okay. Um, more knowledge. Uh, more stealth. My magic is improving. More lying. Music to my ears. More perception. Music to my ears. More combat. More strength. Perhaps some stealth for the pirate. Um, keep keep voting on what you would like. Hold on. Oh, I don't want player three. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's go with lie for you. Oh, no. Sorry, it's it's now doing I accidentally created another character. Um, so more Marketing HP, to the grand more Marketing HP. Um, dexterity. Magic is <laughs> I realize that there's also like probably um, because of um, like repeat chat, it's probably can't type the same same thing in quickly. But My magic okay. Is um. We will give you combat Music to my ears. and dexterity. Music to my ears. Okay. I haven't been paying too much attention to what y'all have been voting for, so interesting. What happens on a tie? Oh, it just decides for you. Okay. Um, so, next up. All right. The city of Aria, finally. Noman Mancho. Or Noman Noman Manchet? You there, it's your lucky day. I have a will here that promises a large mo sum of money in exchange for a simple signature. 
Okay, this just sounds like identity theft to me. This 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 seems so so believable. So so honest. All you have to do is sign the bottom of this document. The thing is, I know, I know Chad is here to cause chaos. I am inclined to decline. But I'm also a little curious about agreeing to sign. Because you asked Taro, who... Taro was trying to be, like, the most famous magician in the land, and no, we're... I ain't, uh, uh, no, 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 decline. We are not signing. Yeah, we are. Agree to sign. Okay, I'll do it. Wonderful. I've still got some paperwork to finish up, and then I'll come back and find you. Yeah, no, we are. We are totally screwed. By the end of the day, you'll be 20 gold coins richer. Oh, wait, for real? So, no, um, you don't... These are After interesting. These are... Grand Duke's plan, you must now warn the queen of the dangerous plot that threatens her. But flat broke and lost in Arya's market... The palace seems distant and out of reach. So no, apparently random encounters just happen. You don't, you just have to decide yes or no, or A or B. Okay, next. So flat broke is the next chapter. Uh, two stars for getting in the palace. If we grab a drink at every opportunity, we get one star. If we win the chicken skewer eating contest, we get a star. And then there are two secret challenges. So, chat, please feel free to grab a drink at every opportunity. I know I do. Today it's water, though. It's just water. So. What an exhausting trip. I could eat a horse. I mean, there's plenty of other types of food to be found here. We are an Aria, after all. Follow me. I know a great place to eat your fill. Don't listen to him. I know what you need. A nice pick-me-up. We sure could use a drink. Then come this way. First round's on me. Oh, you're speaking my language. Shouldn't we run to the palace and warn Queen Julia? In our condition? You want to go to the palace? Not this person being named Rilo and me thinking about Raylos. It's not far from here. I'll take you. Onwards. All right. Do we grab a drink? Let's go bananas. Yeah, let's grab a drink. Ooh, interesting. We actually have a break in the voting. Ooh. Eat your heart out. Food is life. Interesting. You know what? Then, because I accidentally clicked on Raul, we'll let Raul run to ruin the queen. Put your hands together. Okay, so Raul's going to talk to the queen... Gourmandise is going to find food, which, as the former royal pastry chef makes sense, and Taro and Kahina are going for a drink. We are splitting the party. I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> Half an hour later. Go, liquor is no stronger than water. Yeah, I, I even shrug. That must have been the worst place I've ever been. This carrot was the only thing edible. 
Sorry, sirens are happening outside. Let me mute myself. What do we have here? The palace guards wouldn't let me through. When I told them about the plot, <laughs> they threw a rotten apple at my face while laughing. And they also have a toll of one gold coin per person. Okay, so drunk means that we actually have a bonus to our ability to lie or persuade, but we have a we have a negative to our stealth and dexterity. That's highway robbery. I might be able to help you. Luxfos, you have a name that sounds like one of those dropshipping places on Amazon. I am willing to pay your toll. In exchange for a small favor. What kind of favor? Oh, hardly anything at all. Just find Hennifer, my precious black chicken. Okay, so we can ask some questions. Um, I will not be in the UK anytime soon. I hadn't planned on it. No. I mean, I would love to be in the UK. I would, but I haven't planned on it, no. Um, I'm walking on eggshells here. Okay, so Gormandese is going to negotiate the reward. Ooh. DC has questions. You're chicken. Um, okay, we're going to... We're going to let chat continue to vote on what Gormandy should do. But yeah, I'm going to ask who you are. Oh, this is the path. I'm going to have the bard pick his pocket. Just all hands on deck. Uh, looks like asking about the chicken is is winning and then Ooh, actually, let's let Taro negotiate the reward because that's. I will make your doubts disappear. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, hold on. The best person to negotiate the reward is Raul. So, put you over here. Have we met before? Uh, we're gonna let you pick your pocket because you're drunk and you think that's a great idea. And hold on. Yeah, you go there. All right. And who are you exactly? Oh, please forgive my bad manners. I am Luxfos, a research biologist. And you'd pay that much for a chicken? Black chickens lay square eggs. They're quite rare. This chicken sure seems to be worth more than four gold coins. Okay, so this is an easy check for lying and persuading. But because I have been messing up lately, I'm going to rally my fans to remove 15 points from the die roll. And we got to try to roll under 66. Ooh, we have done it. Critical success. Luxfos, the palace toll is only the first step on our journey. You must know adventuring doesn't pay very well. Hold on, I could probably put in a little more. Are we supposed to bring your chicken back dead or alive? A alive, alive. I'm not sure if that was a negotiation technique, but it's definitely effective. Status obtained. Oh, eloquent. We, we obtained an eloquent status for our rule. Here, take this healing potion as an advance. And Kahina says, I'm sure he's still got something on him. So Kahina's going to try and pick his pockets. Ooh, we're specifically sneaking. So we are, we are 
um, plus 10% to our stealth because we are specifically sneaking. Uh, we are a sneaky person, so we have bonus with stealth. And then our stealth is got a negative because we're drunk. We're going to try buying some pirate cards. Okay, so that's minus 15. To the rescue, All right. All right. Uh, we got to roll under 30. Well, under 40. Under 45. Let's go. Oh my gosh, come on. Ooh. Fair winds. What the? Oh. oh. Is not gold. This notebook full of research says that Hennifer lays golden eggs. If that's true, his chicken is worth way more than four gold coins. So, can I count on you all? You'll find Hennifer for me? Yes, of course, we promise. We'll do our best. Oh, we'll do our best, all right. Chicken skewer eating contest. Win an amazing prize. Thanks, Steven. I smell money. Or maybe it's the roast chicken. Oh, roast chicken would be so yummy. Maybe I should make some roast chicken. Ah, some brave competitors. So, are you interested in my chicken skewer eating contest? All you have to do is eat as many skewers as possible. And as a reward, you'll receive a special prize. Let's get this party started. Not gonna sing it, but you know. Oh, crap. Thanks, mighty onwards. Sorry, what? Thanks, mighty. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, enchanting. Like taking candy from super tasty. Thanks, mighty. Thanks, mighty. Thanks, mighty. I'm trying to grab them. Thanks, mighty. Okay. Sorry. You are full times six. You've each eaten one, so I'm making Kahina the winner, but you all need the X the HP. Thanks, mighty. Super tasty. Oh, sorry, I need to grab it with this one, don't I? Yep. Yep. Okay. So everyone got their hit points back. Kahina is our champion chicken skewer eater. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, mighty. Hang All the right. jib. Done. 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 Abracadabra. And done. We are the world. I can't with the song choices is always like hilarious. Alright, well done everyone. So this is interesting. If we were actually playing with multiple people, they could each, like, grab the skewers. So we'd actually all four be playing against each other to grab those skewers and eat them as quickly as possible. Here at Stevens, you'll find only delighted customers. Here's your prize. I gave it my all. Ooh, we got a knife. Glitters is not gold. A stupendous cleaver for cutting up tasty chickens. Let's give them a round of applause. As a consolation prize, let me give you a taste of my specialty. Black chicken skewers. Oh no. Oh no. Hennifer! That's Luxfos's chicken! 
My chicken, you mean. Thief, give her back. Never. You'll have to go through me to get her. Yeah, that was pretty much what we were going for here, pal. Let's go. All right. So, the easiest thing for Gormandese to do is to free Hennifer. So that's exclamation point A. This is easy as pie. The easiest thing for Kahina to do is, is to fight for Hennifer. The easiest thing for Taro to do is to make a scene. I will make your doubts disappear. And same with Raul. Okay, so in this case, we are all favoring what everyone's best at. Um, Gourmandise has to roll under 75 to free Hennifer. Taro under 70. Raul under 90. I'm and sure you've heard of me. Kahina under 71. So this should maybe be better we won't stand for this help he's a dirty thief oh heroin showed up what's going on here why are you yelling like that okay so I feel kind of confident with this one um, I'm going to go ahead and roll for Raul the only way I can mess this up is if I roll over a 90. Oh, right. You're on. Okay, 35. Success. Tarot, I have to roll under a 70. So I'm going to draw a card. And I think I'll draw another card. Okay. So now I get eight removed from my roll, so that means I need to roll below 78. Okay. Don't you understand you're about to kill someone's pet? Is he talking about that poor little chicken? And what's more, you plan on making a profit from doing so? No, I... Uh... Don't you know that ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value? Especially when you cook them. I, s -s Sorry, I, I won't do it again. Set her free! The people on our- the people are on our side. The people are on our side. I can't talk this afternoon. Time to make the most of it. Psst! Hennifer, stay calm. You'll be free soon. Okay, this is a very easy check for dexterity. So. You have got to be kidding me. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ow, I got my finger stuck. Ouch, that hurts. What? What are you doing over there? Free the chicken! I get it now. That whole charade was just a distraction to better steal my chickens. We're gonna free that chicken whether you like it or not. Okay. All I gotta do is roll below 71. Ugh! <gasps> Success on one, on two, on three. What in the... Oh, damn. There you go, Hennifer. You're free. No, come back, Hennifer. What's going on here? This man stole our chicken and was even planning on turning it into skewers. You don't say. That's not true. Yes, it is. Talk about a complicated situation. 
We'll get to the bottom of this. In the palace dungeons. Wait, all of us or just Steven? We wanted to get into the palace, but not like this. Let's get out of here. Yoink. Oh, wait, you're letting them get away? I'm not paid enough to run after them. Thank you. And wait, nope. Oh. Okay, I guess everyone's getting away today. Crew, be quiet. Oh my gosh, we are actually wearing barrels. I don't hear anything. Do you think we lost them? Hush. Where the heck are those scoundrels? Will he just give up already? There's Hennifer. Hennifer! Onwards. Okay. We have some options here. I do not know what our success or failure rate on any of them is. But. All hands on deck. We can block, pounce, or lure. Um, chat. Any exclamation point A through A through H will pick one of those places for your character. So feel free to type that in chat. Some oh. Are trying to work here. Chris says D to block. I think Ooh. Oh, we have okay, we we've got some contention. We have a three-way tie right now, so We, like, C, D, and F are currently tied. So we could use another vote from chat to change your position. I'm going to let the pirate pounce. I'm the captain of my destiny. I'm going to let the bard lure. Put your hands together. And I think... Maybe you'll... Hmm. I don't know yet. Okay, we don't have any more chat votes, so which means I'm going to pick between C, D, and F. Since you primarily picked a block, I'm gonna I'm gonna move you down here. My time to shine. And we're gonna try pouncing. Oh wait. Sorry. I'm gonna move you I'm gonna move you to a block over here. I'm the chef. So we're gonna try to lure the chicken. Right, lure the chicken. Bok bok? Can't get that way. I'll block her from here. That works. I'll cut off her path. Yes! Over here, Hennifer. Well done. Hush. I think Steven's coming back. We never talk about Steven like this in real life. I'm just saying. Still nothing. I'll find them somehow. That was close. What the? Look, Hannifer laid a square golden egg. Luxos's notebook was telling the truth. Oh, hold on. The square golden egg is worth four, so we could use that to uh, to get in. Okay, first off, we're going to give the cleaver to Gormandis. We're going to okay. And then does anybody get hurt? No. But let's have a look at inventories while we're here. What is what do you have for inventory? You don't have a lot of anything. You could use something. And then what do you have? 
You have a rotten apple, which we're definitely selling. We're not, we're not, can we sell it? No, all right. Um, oh, knowledge, I'll give you the research. There we go. Sorry, I gotta do this this way. Okay. Steven was holding a chicken kebab. Yes, chicken uh, chicken skewer. Um, okay, and Gormandise's knife is only a plus five to combat, whereas the cleaver is plus five to combat and crafting, so a little bit better. At least we're still full. Okay. So, did we finish the chapter? Oh, you're back. Did you find anything? Let's go. Okay. So, do we give the hen back to Luxfos or do we keep the hen? With the golden square egg, we now have enough to stay. Uh, we have enough to get into the castle now. Do we legit keep the chicken that lays golden eggs? That we fought so hard to get. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we'll go ahead. We'll give. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll give the chicken over. It's fine. We did get the egg, so we're, you know what, here. Have your chicken. Don't eat them. Thank you. I knew you keep your word. Here's a reward with some extra. Okay, so that got us more. A little bit. Let's go. Uh, do we ask for a bigger reward? Oh, that's right. We do have the option to grab a drink. So. Feels like a. So, all right. Yeah, I'll say grab a drink. I feel like our negotiator is probably going to ask for a bigger reward. The thrill of the fight. Um, but the rest of us will grab a drink. Abracadabra! Because what else do you do? Actually, no. You two ask for a bigger reward, and we'll grab a drink. Dead men tell no tales. We still have enough time to celebrate at the tavern. Let's go! We said we'd find Hennifer for a few gold coins. But that was before we knew she laid golden eggs. Oh, caught. Ah, yes, here's a little more. But I'm relying on your discretion, okay? Uh, come on, you'll already make more than that next time Hennifer lays an egg. True, here you go. So they just basically bought us off. One more, really? You're lucky we don't attack you. And take that chicken back. Huh. <sighs> We're coming back for you and that chicken. At the tavern, you make a toast to today's small victories. Here's to you. Cheers. Come on, let's, let's get other. Are you sure? Teroy Luski, hip hip. And he's out. Do we go through his pocket? No? Okay. <laughs> At 
The palace, at last. This is so ridiculous. Ah, there you are. So, had a good time? Are we all drunk now? I think we're almost, almost all of us are drunk. Yay. Yeah. My goodness, Roy Lusky left me alone again. Not a step further. It's one gold coin per person. Onwards. All right, we're not drunk enough to force our way through, so we'll go ahead and pay the toll. Um, who has the money? Oh, wait. Um, who got all the money? Oh, okay. One. I'm getting there. Two. My pockets are empty. Three. Alas, my pockets are empty. I'm working on this guard is rough. Hey, Skechnificent, welcome on in. Alright, and we should finish the chapter. So everyone has to confirm I like that when you play together. Okay. We got the secret challenges too. Okay, so we successfully entered the palace. We grabbed a drink at every opportunity. We won the chicken skewer eating contest. That was just the character who won. Um, we caught Hennifer. And okay, so this is interesting. We could have gotten more characters, more stars, if we had all gone for a drink. I wonder if we had all equally eaten the number of skewers if we all could have won the, the contest. Uh, we caught Hennifer and we kept the golden egg. All good. Okay, so again, chat will be able to vote on what Gormandiz's upgrades are, so you can see them on the screen. If you can get your votes in, that's fabulous. If not, the game will choose for you, but you have three points to spend on upgrades. Um... I think we're going to continue Taro to be a good Persuader, more HP, and more Persuasion. Okay, more combat for you, more crafting, and more knowledge, more combat. How do you vote for chaos? At this point, you just put a random in or don't vote at all. And uh, stealth for you. Okay, and give you some crafting. Some more lying. And some more stealth. So on a tie, the game kind of chooses for you, so. A treat for me. All right. Um, let's see, it's about quarter till, so let's see what's next. Another random encounter. Now that's interesting. Um, I'm not sure if it actually is unique to who votes or if somebody can spam multiple letters and make all the votes happen. That's a, that's interesting. Um, oh, Poopsie, my sweet kitty, where did you go? I like that she's wearing a little cat medallion. That's very cute. <clears throat> Welcome to the Grievance Bureau. Finally, we've been wandering around this place for hours. Palace for hours. Sorry, I'm a bit preoccupied. What, what can I do for you today? We must see Queen Julia immediately. You'll need to fill out Form 34A, then Form 42Y, then Form F393, then... Oh, do we stay calm or do we lose it? We are in the palace. We do have to... We, we are in the palace. 
we do have to play within the rules of bureaucracy if we want to bureaucracy i don't like that word either bureaucracy if we want to see the queen so maybe let's just stay calm very well then i'll take those forms you're not upset that's the first time today Forget about the forms. I'll show you where the queen's office is. See, sometimes keeping your cool, or at least pretending to keep your cool, and then just like texting your friends, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Thank you. And if we see your cat Poopsie, we promise we'll bring her back to you. Oh, who are you now? What? Is this the Queen's office? Oh, no, it's not. This is Arya's Palace's gift Arya Palace's gift shop. I don't do I have any do I have enough coins for any of this? Speaking of which, you're not planning on leaving without buying a little souvenir, are you? Check out these delicious apples. They come straight from the royal gardens. If you're not hungry, I also sell replicas of Arya's crown. And I've even got a few suits of armor left. All the guards buy from me. And of course, I'll buy anything weighing you down. Okay, so we can sell. Uh, we can sell stuff. So we have... We have a rotten apple somewhere. We're going to sell that. Oh, the crown. Good. Good. Good check. Okay, let's give you the, the apple because we don't want that. Um, the fake crown of Aria. Oh, good one, Chris. Okay. I think I still got yeah, I got enough money for that for that fake crown. Alas, my pockets are empty. Like magic. They're, they're not empty. Alas, my pockets are empty. Like magic. Alas, my pockets are empty. Like magic. Okay, let's give you to there. Um I think we're good. Who somebody had Hold on. I thought somebody had a carrot. Yeah, let's give you some health points. Okay. Super tasty. All right, end the sale. No, nope, don't. Thanks for your business. The queen's office is right at the end of this hallway. Oh, is that it? Uh, who are you now? I think we finally made it. Queen Julia's office, good morning. I regret to inform you that the Queen's audiences are over for today. Ugh. What? However, the minister would be happy to see you. The minister? Grand Duke! Thank you for saving me the hassle of looking for you. Guards, seize them. Let's go, go along now without any fuss. Run away! Bye! As it turns out, Grand Duke is one of Queen Julia's trusted associates. He takes advantage of this fact to demand your arrest. To escape him, you flee through the palace gardens. Okay, so chapter three, which we're probably not going to get time to do all of. 
Interesting. Um, outrun the guards in the gardens. Solve the Sphinx's riddle. Have the most flowers in your inventory, so only one person can get that. And there's a secret challenge that all of us can get, and I'm wondering if we already got it. Because it's already marked, and I'm betting the secret challenge might be to have the fake crown. We're in the Royal Gardens. Let's find a way out of here. There they are. Halt by order of Grand Duke. Oh. Herbert, we have to split up and lose them. Okay, so we can split the party, but there are options for three people to be on either one. So we can sneak out by the beehives, or we can draw the guards towards the zoo. Um, chat, since you control Gourmandis, you can decide where... Okay. Uh, draw the guards towards the zoo. I see a lot of zoo. Taro understands the importance of bees, so Taro's gonna do by the beehives. But we will we'll split either. We'll do two and two. So let's send Raul with Gourmandis. I will survive. And Kahina with Taro. The singing every time. The colors. I mean, the bees also, possibly. Hey, you. Hey, you there. Snails in armor. Ooh, snails in armor. Nice. Over here. Catch us if you can. We'll show you who the snails are. Oh. Quick, let's get out through the beehives. So I like that it, it accurately has us splitting the party, and it handles handles each encounter appropriately. Uh-oh. Who freed the animals? Okay, first off. Uh, can we give the banana to the monkey? No. There's also a wooden bucket. So we should really start picking things up when we see them. Um, I need to be better at that. Okay, we don't actually need that then. What do we have here? Wait, can I put this in your inventory? I can. What okay. Do we have here? Okay, who freed the animals? Oh, whatever you do, don't move. There they are. We've got you now. Oh, you're making the ang animals angry. Uh, I don't like this. Take cover! Let's go. Dodge the charging animals. Uh, chat, you have 20 seconds to say where is Gourmandise going to go? Feeling the pressure. I'm going to put Raul in the cage, because screw it. Yeah, we're just going to get out of the way. That was close. Guards, hold your positions. They won't get me in here. Get out of the... Oh. oh, no. I think the monkey just locked me in. Help? Meanwhile, by the beehives... Help! Sounds like we chose the right path. There are just some nice bees here. Okay, first off, honeycombs. Honeycombs go in the inventory because they are yummies. How splendid! There is something back here. A bee decoy. Ooh, check it out. But also, where are the flowers? Did I miss the flowers? Okay, first off, more honeycomb. Okay, so we now have a bee decoy. Is it called a bee koi? Okay. Wait, they're coming right at us. Hide from the bees. Um, 
I will hide here and here. I'm the captain of my destiny. Is there anything I can do with the bee, the decoy? I don't know. We're probably not hiding in a great spot, but it's fine. It's totally fine. Time's up. Huh. I'm a bush. I'm a bush. I'm a bush. They won't get me here. I've been clicking on things, but I haven't... I've been picking on... I've been clicking on things to pick stuff up. Um, so I have picked up, like, the honeycomb and the bee hot... And the bee decoy. The bee koi. But I didn't see, like, flowers, which there was a whole achievement... Or not achievement, but a star for that. And I haven't done that yet. Um, okay, so we have two of our party pretending to be bushes. Let's see how well this works for them. Don't move. We don't want to upset them. Let's go. The bees are attacking. I'm not going to move. I, I know how to handle a bee, and that is to stay calm and not run. No running. See? Good thing we kept calm and didn't run around in a panic. Unlike me at brunch this past weekend where a bee was really into me and I was not into the bee crawling on me. So I did kind of get up and try to gently encourage it to go elsewhere. Meanwhile, at the Royal Zoo. <laughs> so who are the snails now? Brave beasts, you are a credit to the crown. Uh, what's the plan now? I need to find a way to calm these animals down. Alright, let me just check around. Did we get anything? Oh. Wait, there's an egg? Why is there an egg? Okay, fine. Uh, anything else? There was a bee decoy in the other place. And here... We just had bananas and there was something else. And a wooden bucket. No. Alright. I need to find a way to calm these animals down. Onwards. Tame the animals. Oh, okay. So let's give um, let's give a monkey a banana. A pinch of that. Yes, it's letting me out. And let's give. Uh, sorry, uh, the ostrich, the egg. I can't hold on to what we've got. Do I have anything else that the animals might like? Do you want honey? Okay. You're a snake, but I bet you'll still take honey. Oh, I think it's a carnivore. Well, crap. I don't have anything for that. Do I have meat? I could have had a chicken a while ago, but no. I don't think you want to eat a gold egg. Okay, so... We, yeah, I was going to say, we need the Hennifer. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, the monkeys are riding the ostriches. They have, they have formed a rebellion. This is how Planet of the Apes got started. What the? How did you do that? Animals, charge! We're getting swarmed. A oh, little help over here. The situation is getting out of hand. Tactical retreat, no! 
The gate's not locked. We can keep going. Amazing. Are we all together? Oh, no, the guards. Surprised? Did you think you'd gotten away from us? Well, I didn't, but I am going to take more... Um, sorry, I'm going to take more honey since we can do that. Gimme. How splendid! Anything else around here? Oh, okay, so I did click on the thing. Okay, so I had to click on the I had to click on the bush. That not oh. Not completely obvious there. And the game hadn't really done any mechanic like that before, so now I now I understand. Alright, in that case, we're giving all of these to you. Oh, you're a Tursful. Well, I guess we're giving it to you. Oh, that glitters is not gold. Okay, so you'll have the most oh, flowers. That glitters is not gold. Oh, that glitters is not gold. Oh, your inventory's full as well. Okay. In that case, we'll just put you here. Do the flowers... Oh, the flowers take up one space. Okay, well then you win. That's fine. Um, we'll keep the honeycombs because we might need them. Actually, can I give you inventory from here? Get, no, come here. I can transfer inventory between characters even though they are not on the screen. Mwahahaha. Okay, how many did you have? You have four? Yeah, we'll keep them because they are worth some money. Um, okay. Alright. Wait, aren't you at the zoo? Nope, we tricked you. Ah, so that was a plan. Then why are you covered in scratches? Enough talk. Corwin, cuff them. Quick, let's find something to attract the bees to them. Oh no! I'm allergic to bees. Go ahead of me, everyone. Let's go. Draw the bees to the guards. Okay, so I assume I take the bee decoy. May this item be a talisman. May this be useful. Oh no! I sent the bees. I took this out of my hand. I sent the bees towards the one who's allergic to bees. I am the worst. How splendid. I I I'm the worst. Um somebody somebody give Humphrey an EpiPen before it goes into anaphylactic shock. We gotta fall back or the bees will tear us to pieces. Beeses! Victory! Now's our chance. This way! I mean he is mean, but still. I, that feels a little excessive on my part. Ah, so we meet again. Okay, so if I click on these, maybe they'll have... They don't. But if I click on these... Ah, there we go. Flowers. Interesting. Sadly, I don't have a way to sell them outside of being at the palace gift shops. So that's okay. All right. Let me just look around for anything else. So we meet again. I thought you were supposed to take care of the guards. The most important thing is that we're together again. Oh, there's something in the bush. There's something in that bush. Wait, I think I hear the guards. Onwards. Okay. The last thing that we'll do, and we'll see how this encounter plays out, because I do need to go and make some food. We can pretend to be a statue. Let's we can hide in the off. hedge. We can examine the bush. I kind of want to examine the bush. So we're going to go... Who has the best perception? Pretty good perception. Hmm. 
Does our old have good perception? Okay. Well, Raul, okay. Raul, you, you check on what's in the bush. Um, you're hiding in the hedge. I think that's a pretty easy check for Gourmandis. So the rest of us will pretend to be a statue because I have been rolling so high. It's kind of ridiculous. What is the incantation? I'm a hedge. I'm a hedge. I'm a hedge. Okay, so this should be an easy check for stealth. All I need to do is roll below, but we're gonna draw a recipe card. Let's get baking. Okay, so that will at least reduce our roll by five. So. Oh, oh. That's a success. So why? <laughs> success. I'm a hedge. Be the hedge. Be the hedge. I'm going to imitate the statue. And I'm going to imitate the other one. We make a fine duo. Wow, they actually statued pretty well. It's pretty impressive. Hush, they'll hear us. Let's see what's hiding in this bush. Looks like there's some sort of passageway. Secret. Tunnel. All right. And okay. Whoa. Okay. I think we are all successfully hidden. Where are those hooligans hiding? Let's go. Okay. So we have options again. Um. Draw the guards close to the statue. My Push, push the statue, stay still, or jump in the hole. Jump in the hole, okay. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow the, the rule I believe everybody's gonna jump in the hole. Let's, let's face it. Something, something hole joke. Magic will protect me. I don't see anyone. Let's look further on. Wait, over there, something's moving. We won't leave anyone behind in this hole. I mean, really? Jump, quick jump. Hey, where are you going? Ouch, that hurts. That hurt. No more running this time. What the? Did you let them out of the zoo? You're going to talk with all those bees. Oh no, I'm not going through that a second time. That was a close one. We gotta get out of here. Now. The passage closed up. How are we gonna meet up again now? Don't you hate it when you can't get into a hole that you were expecting to? Oh no, okay, hold on. All right, hold on, first off. Gots to take everything. There's monies on the table. Okay, what is this place? Welcome, I am Arsene, Chimera of Chimeras. Well done, your curiosity has revealed my hiding place. But before rewarding you, I must assess your wisdom. Answer me this. As soon as I am named, I no longer exist. What am I? What? The unknown? A se oh, a secret? I mean, yeah. Anonymous? Okay, see ya, okay. 
Oh, those are, a uh, modesty is really interesting. Modesty is really interesting, but I'm gonna go with anonymity. As soon as I am named, I no longer exist. Can't touch this. Hey, Kid Senpai, welcome on in. Anonymity! You mortal creatures are always so funny. Very good joke. I'll be sure to tell it to the gods. Oh no. What a shame. Humanity is not yet ready. What? Farewell. What? Oh, so that wasn't it. Apparently, maybe it was modesty. Or maybe I needed a hint. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and quit because uh, this has been this has been delightful. But I do need to stop and we can resume the game later. Um, perhaps I can convince some people to join me next time. Um, but this has been Worlds of Aria. Um, once again, if you are... Um, oops, there we go. Uh, if you're interested, it is available on Steam right now. Um, the best part is that if you want to play... Um, if you want to... Uh, play with friends only one of you needs to own the game and then you get a buddy pass the buddy pass will let you start a new game you can copy the link and then invite your friends on steam so perhaps i can get people to play with me um you can try an offline game to test it or something but yeah this is really fun it has a lot of different mechanics it has the dice roll like you got to roll under your skill or you have to roll under the difficulty so you want to make your skills as high as possible so that you have more chance of success. You have random elements and you have environmental things that will help or hinder, depending. And I'm really mad about that riddle of the Sphinx, but I guess I just got to go with it. Um, so yeah, thank you for hanging out. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. 